Another simple machine is the inclined plane, sometimes just called an incline. But an inclined plane, a plane, the, the term plane implies a flat surface. So draw an incline like this, try to make it flat. And it's uh, inclined at some angle relative to the ground. And suppose you have something you need to lift. You're, you're trying to lift something up to this height. Well, instead of just lifting it straight up, you could push it up the incline, and that's easier. So here you are pushing. And you exert a force up and it, up, up the incline, and it moves, it moves up the incline. Pushing it up the ramp requires less force than lifting it straight up. So you end up having to push it a longer distance than if you just lifted it straight up. But you can do it with less force because, the in, because of the incline. So the simple machine here is the incline. It's not the object that you're pushing. It's the incline itself is considered a simple machine. Another simple machine is called a wedge, W-E-D-G-E. -E. Um, a common usage, usage of a wedge is for splitting wood. A wedge is basically a triangular shaped object. Let's draw it in three dimensions like this. And we'll imagine we're splitting a piece of wood. So say here's a, a piece of a tree, a big log right here. And you take a, a large hammer or a maul or an axe, the back end of an axe, and you pound downward on this. So you exert a force downward on this. And as the wedge is driven into the wood, you can see because of the shape of the wedge, the wedge gets wider up near the top. Because of the shape of the wedge, it exerts a force outward on the pieces of the wood and splits the wood. This split comes here, and a piece of wood splits in half. And because of the shape, the downward force that you put on the wedge gets multiplied. This force results in a much larger force outward. And that allows you to split a piece of wood that you might not otherwise be able to split. So the wedge is a simple machine. And the last one we'll mention is the screw. And a screw, I'm sure you've seen, we'll just draw a screw something like this and that the head is up here and your screwdriver fits in those grooves and and you turn the screw and the thing about a screw is there are these threads wrapped around the edge and so you turn the force you exert a turning force what we call a torque that those red arrows represent and that causes the screw to advance in this direction because of the threads grip the wood or whatever you're screwing it into and you end up with a forward movement this way and a forward force. The torque you put in over here, we can say T for torque, results in a large forward force over here. And that is the screw, a simple machine. So those are the six simple machines. More complicated machines can be made by combining those in various ways. And a good example would be a bicycle. A bicycle has wheels and axles. It has a chain drive system, which can be considered a type of pulley. And the pedals, when you push on the crank of your bicycle, that's actually a type of lever. You've got some leverage because of the length of the pedal. And all those things come together to make a bicycle.